This is Vintage Media Millennial, and I bring you exciting news that Paul McCartney has announced during an interview with the BBC that a new song by the Beatles will be released later this year um, in collaboration with Ringo and presumably the estates of John Lennon and George Harrison. This new song, which is rumoured to be Now and Then, uh, will be released later this year thanks to the usage of AI technology that was used on the Beatles Get Back by Peter Jackson a couple of years ago for that Disney Plus documentary, that epic documentary that showed uh, the inner workings during their, um, some would say, ill-fated Get Back sessions. Um, The word AI, the phrase, has been one that's used a lot by the media And it might have confused some because um, over the last couple of years, its usage has changed a little bit. So there is that AI-generated stuff that's very popular, the images. Um, There's also the kind of AI which is taking an a cappella of a performance by one performer and overlaying it with the voice of another. We've seen much of that with the voices of Paul McCartney and John Lennon, as Paul himself has testified. And the other usage which Paul will be referring to is taking a full recording, so that voice and any instrumentation, any other things that happen to be in that recording and removing the voice, separating it from other things. So this song uses a demo that was recorded by John Lennon in the late 70s. It's presumably Now and Then, which was tried for the anthologies in the mid-90s to follow um, Free as a Bird and real love, but unfortunately they couldn't make it work back then. It, they just didn't have the technology available to get a nice clean break from all the hiss uh, that this low quality recording had on it. Well, now uh, because of that technology, they are able to extract um, John Lennon's vocal, and I, for one, am extremely excited, and I'm assuming that what um, McCartney and Starr have done is gone back to their working tapes from the mid-90s. So George Harrison will be on there as well. And let's not forget that Harrison kind of said, let's abandon it because it's just bad, you know, bad quality in the voices. So, you know, they, they said, okay, let's just leave it. But if he's on it too, then it is a pure Beatles record. And I will admit I'm not the hugest Beatles fan, But I'm excited by this possibility, not just for um, bringing a close, the legend of the Beatles, because how many times in our lifetimes have we had a new single after the breakup? Well, two others, but I was extremely young when those came out. I'm also excited about what this is going to do for preservation, because while people are overlaying voices onto other voices, this is, um, you know, separating that. So could you imagine, to use the Beatles as an example, going back to something called, um, like, in spite of all the danger, removing all the different parts from it and kind of remixing it like they did for Get Back, or any recording. I mean, sometimes b- before the eve of multi-tracking, you just all recorded it on a couple of tracks and and be done with it. To be able to demix that and change the levels uh, will do wonders for many things and will make a lot of musical recordings live a lot longer, I think, especially those from the mid-20th century where the recording conditions for some of them were not always great. Now, obviously, to begin with, this is going to be the kind of thing that massive acts like the Beatles are going to do right and it will be out of the hands of the smaller acts but in the future i'd like to see 
um, even more like uh, Philharmonic Orchestra albums, once they finished with the big ones, go on to people like The Hollies and The Searchers and all those big acts, you know, of the 60s that kind of get left behind if their music is on um, just just a single track or, you know, a four track thing with limited options there to be able to demix that and put that into a new setting would just make the rest of music fly. So while this is going to be um, extremely controversial because, you know, should you take something from there and change it? In, in this case, uh, with the Beatles, as long as everything is okay with the estates, as long as they've said yes, and as long as it sounds good, I guess, then yes, definitely go forward. Um, do let me know uh, what you think of this news that a new Beatles song or new Beatles recording will be released in 2023. Um, let me know in the comments below. <laughs> 